All right, today I've got some stuff to test out for a new company called uh, Runkle. Uh, they sent me this nice carry case. It's kind of like a binder full of soft plastics to test out. Some of this stuff in there, there's a uh, wacky rig kit, uh, wacky rig tool to put the rings on the Sankos and stuff. Some other stuff in there. Uh, main thing I'm supposed to be going over though is this in here. It's a pair of uh, new, new design for fishing pliers. So we'll give these a try, test out everything. Let's start off in a small creek over here. There's a handful of uh, five inch Sankos and some four inch Sankos too, or three inch Sankos, some small ones. The small ones would probably do better out here. So, but yeah, I mean this thing, I'm definitely gonna end up using this because a lot of stuff companies send me, I'm not gonna use, it's just unusable stuff. But this is, this bag definitely is worthwhile. The best thing about this company is everything they sell is through Amazon. So you don't have to go to some shady website that looks like somebody made it themselves and uh, give them your credit card information or anything like that. You can go through Amazon to get it. And I'll post a link and everything down below. Check them out. Now the kit they sent me is actually a complete kit. It comes with everything you need. The wacky rig tool comes with the extra wide yap worm hooks and even some uh, grub tail minnow swim bait looking things which a lot of the companies they all just rebrand the same stuff i've never seen those those curly tailed fish before so that's definitely new and then the bag itself is most worthwhile thing so far in the pliers all right uh, let me go ahead and try one of these things this should should do pretty well out here get it open It's the right color for sure. Oh, got to zip this up. You know what I'm gonna do. Just gonna poke it through the side a little bit right there. That way I can. It's not quite the right hook. The bait's a little bit too big for these hooks. But that's all right. It's more for like a jig head than what I got. So instead, of, I'm just so I just hook it through the side there. So if anything grabs it, I can still hook it on the side. There we go. Let go of it again. That's it. Uh, not gonna use this. Not like this anyway. Kind of. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Texas rig this thing sideways. And it'll be a lot more effective. It'll look more like a dying fish over there too. There we go. That's going to be a lot more effective right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on, dude. Just had one take it right there as soon as it hit the water. No hook set. There's one. Oh, 
Oh, I just had one swirl on it, a big one. I wasn't even paying attention. I was trying to retrieve it to get this little one over here. There we go. Take it, take it. <clears throat> Got it. There we go. He grabbed it as soon as that hit the water. Shook it off, too. Ah. Chill. See if I can. Oh, he didn't shake it off. It still it just went up further up the line. But he did go right after it. Okay. Using the pliers. They've got a hook on their of their own on the end of it so it closes over that it's got some grips right here this is definitely one I need the pliers for there we go Pliers actually work. It'd be work. It would work a lot better for one that was uh, further de deep down in there, but uh, they get the job done here. Let him go. All right, there you go. Pliers work. The the grub tail, curly tail, swim bait worked pretty well that one went after it pretty quick and uh, yeah I think I'm gonna switch up now to uh, stick bait like Senko style Texas rigging the four inch Senkos actually limits their their movements a lot especially on bigger hooks bigger than this one so like this this one will work for Texas rigging but it won't work for I mean it, it it works for Texas rigging the uh, smaller Sanko, but a uh, full size hook limits their, their movement. So I'm gonna give something else a shot here. There's this, it's already pre-rigged with a bunch of uh, wacky rig rings on there. So it's pretty simple. You just put the bait in there, line that up, and then you roll the ring up, get that lined up where you want it, and then you just, there you go. Now it's got a, a ring on it, and it makes the bait a lot more durable, because wacky rigging, you stick it through the middle, it wears it out quicker, so this one I'll be able to wacky rig it and use it longer. And you don't have to stick the bait. You just put it under the, the hook there, under the ring. And it's good. And since it's a shorter hook, they, uh, a lot of times Texas rigging they'll miss the hook they'll grab it by the tail this one they you know they'll usually grab it around the middle or the tail area wacky rigging it you're more likely to get it to get a hook set oh there's a nice one that's a really nice one wow that was at least a two pounder that came up and swam up and looked at it i mean wacky rigging works for everybody else but i'm just not a fan of wacky rigging even with this wacky wacky rig tool it makes it so much easier it just, it's not as effective for me. I just get nothing but hang-ups. So I'm going to switch up to Texas rig. There we go. Ugh. That's not the two-pounder I saw. Ooh, this one hooked in a bad spot. It's a spotted bass. The last one was a Guadalupe. Oh, come on, dude. Chill. It's 
See what happens when you take this rig. <laughs> this one I do need the pliers for. There you go. Pliers came in handy this time. Didn't really need them the last time, but I definitely need them, needed them this time. Yeah, I should have taken a picture of that one, but yeah, I think it was too small to be Instagram worthy. All right, well, these pliers, got a little latch there to lock it, but uh, They've got a line cutter on this end. It's got a serrated edge on one side. And they've got crimpers built into it. And then a grip right there to, for regular plier use. And then a hook at the end. And they're pretty fairly priced. They're not very expensive. They're available on Amazon through Runkle. Uh, check the links below. I'll have everything set up down there. Thanks for watching.